Hey everyone, it's Aisha and welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing this beautiful red carpet glam makeup look inspired by the new movie Oceans 8 coming out Friday, June 8th. Click right over here if you guys haven't watched the trailer yet. You definitely need to. And huge shout out to Oceans 8 for sponsoring and collaborating with me on this video. If you guys still haven't heard of Oceans 8, it has the most iconic cast I've ever seen. Sandra Bullock, Anne Hathaway, Mindy Kaling, my fave, Queen Rihanna, just to name a few. And basically they come together to crash the Met Gala and steal a 150 million dollar necklace okay nothing like this piece of junk I'm wearing right now I don't know how they're gonna do it but I'll definitely be watching it and not just because of my um, love affair with Rihanna I'm gonna be sharing my eight steps to rocking this red carpet glam I'm so happy with how this look turned out this is basically the makeup look that I would wear if I went to a red carpet or evening event or gala or whatever it is I think just a classic smoky eye with a nude lip is just perfect so if you want to see how I achieve this look then just keep on watching and the first step is prep so you want to make sure your skin is nice and snatched basically you want it to look nice and smooth and glowy for your special event so I always like to do a mask the night before one of my favorites is this glam glow gravity firming mask it just kind of gets you right and tight and it's like a peel off mask it's really fun um, but then of course just use your skincare use skincare that really works for you and then for moisturizers using the vitamin enriched face space by bobby brown it looks like this and this is an amazing product um, to make sure your skin looks amazing underneath makeup because it's gonna give you the hydration that you need and I use it kind of as a moisturizing primer and it works perfectly and keeps the skin nice and supple um, but prep is honestly just as important as the makeup because if your skin is not looking right the makeup on top of it is not gonna sit right either also if you did notice my nails I'm not one to wear a lot of nail polish but for a special event like this, I love popping on just press-on nails because I can take them off as I please and I just, I don't know, I'm just not a nail polish person but of course your nails do have to look cute and they weren't looking particularly cute today so I just popped these on real quick. Now that our skin is nice and prepped, the second step is flawless skin. I feel like red carpet looks in general, it's always focused on the skin. I find a lot lately the trend has been just very downplayed eyes and lips. They might go for like a bold bright lip but the skin is always the focus very nice smooth flawless glowing skin that looks amazing in flash photography as well and from the little images and the videos that I've seen of Oceans 8 I find that's the theme as well they just have really beautiful flawless skin and then they kind of just downplay a little bit on the eyes and the lips however I did find a lot of the girls in the movie were wearing bright lips so I'm gonna see if I can incorporate that or maybe we'll do two different types um, but anyways flawless skin wise I have to use my go-to this is the Bobbi Brown skin longwear weightless foundation which looks like this Bobbi Brown is very popular um, for celebrities and red carpet looks so I had to use this one so I use the shades warm almond and golden almond I'm just gonna mix the two of these and then apply this all of this all over the skin I don't know why I'm tripping over my words today but the reason I love this foundation so much is that although it is matte it is kind of like a comfort matte it still allows your skin to glow but I really like going for the more matte foundations because I like adding my glow on top afterwards um, just to ensure that your face isn't kind of slipping and sliding throughout the day and the makeup that you apply on top will stay there and will look beautiful during your events. So now moving on to concealer, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind in the shade Caramel and I like to kind of give a nice highlighted look underneath the eyes because I find it just draws more attention there. So this shade as you can see is just a couple shades lighter than the foundation shade but it does blend in really really nicely and give a beautiful highlighted under eye. I also like to pretty much put this in the center of my face so not only underneath the eyes but down the bridge of the nose on the forehead and then a little bit on my chin as well just to kind of bring light to those areas. While I'm blending this out I have to have a little bit of a fangirl moment. I'm so excited to see that Rihanna is in this movie. She's playing uh, Nine Ball and she's like this sick hacker and she helps like you know get into the Met Gala and everything like that and she just looks so I love her whole vibe in this movie like the whole dreadlocks and she looks like such like a bad ASS <laughs> and um, I don't know I just I just love it also this flawless base is kind of inspired by her I've never seen her not work a red carpet look like she always just her skin looks so glowy and flawless so little fangirl moment for Rihanna 
You see the brightness that just brought to my face? It's like my under eyes are glowing. But now, equally as important, we gotta set that. So this is the Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. This is one of my favorite setting powders. I find it adds a really nice, healthy glow underneath the eyes, but it doesn't cause flashback, which is very important for a red carpet look. So I'm just taking that on a beauty blender and then setting that concealer in place. As crazy as I look right now, I'm gonna let that sit so that it sort of bakes. In the meantime, I'm gonna take a little bit of the Laura Mercier Medium Deep Translucent Powder, which is just like a slightly deeper translucent powder, and I'm gonna use this around my mouth. And this is just gonna set any creases in place. Basically, you wanna put, you wanna kinda of press this powder, any excess, just all over the skin to make sure that it is set in place. I'm gonna take a little more powder and just kind of place that right in this area just to catch any fallout from the eyeshadow. Step three is actually the eyes. So finally, we can move on to the eyes. We're gonna be using the Soft Glam palette, which I think is quite fitting since we are going for a soft glam red carpet look. So the first shade that I'm gonna go in with is this one right over here called Burnt Orange. And I'm gonna apply that all over the eyes. The videos and stuff I've seen, I'll have some like imagery over here as well. Their looks are quite soft, but they're not like super dramatic on the eyes. So that's kind of like the look that I'm going for. On the same brush, I'm dipping into the shade Sienna, which is a deeper, more reddish base brown. I'm focusing this pretty much in the same area, but I'm bringing it deeper into the inner corner right over here as well. And I'm making sure to just kind of like drag these shades slightly further than I would normally would. Like normally I'd stop right over here, but I kind of want to drag it out much more. The reason I like to do this is because I feel like it really elongates the face and like when you're looking straight on, it kind of just like creates this really beautiful illusion to the eyes and I don't know, I just really like it. I find it looks beautiful in photos as well. So to add some more smokiness, this is the Batter Up Longwear Eyeshadow Stick by The Balm, which looks like this. It's basically just a black eyeshadow stick and I'm gonna take this and roughly put it on the center of my lid. This is gonna be the base for the brown shadow that we're gonna use on top to create more of that smoky brown look. I'm just smudging that out very roughly with my fingers. Doesn't matter how precise you're gonna be because we are gonna be covering this up with another shadow. This is just gonna give a nice base so that it First of all, sticks there, and then second of all, just adds more of that smokiness. Right over top of that shadow, I'm gonna take the shade Cypress Umber, which is a deep brown. On a flat shader brush, just pack that shade right on top of the black. To blend those edges together, I'm gonna take the shade Rustic, which is just slightly lighter of a brown. And on that same fluffy crease brush that we used earlier, I'm going to blend this into the crease. Taking a little bit of the brown shade that we used on our lid, Cypress Umber, and I'm just dragging that on our lower lash line, or my lower lash line, to further smoke out that eye. Taking the shade Orange Soda, I'm gonna place that on my brow bone. Since we kept everything matte on the eyes, I'm actually gonna go in with this brown liner. This is the Bobbi Brown Golden Bronze Sparkle, and it is so pretty because it has a golden bronze sparkle built into it, so it's gonna add a little bit of shimmer to our eyes. I'm gonna line my entire waterline and tight line with black eyeliner. This is the Sigma Beauty Longwear Eyeliner Pencil, and this will seriously transform the eye look. Just watch. See what I mean? Anyways, I'm gonna apply mascara and lashes off camera. Lashes are very important, so I'm actually gonna be using the Huda Beauty Samatha Lashes. I feel like everyone goes like this. <laughs> So the finishing touches to the eyes is just a little bit of highlight, so I thought this was pretty fitting. This is the Fenty Beauty by Rihanna um, Hustla Baby and Mean Money highlight. Into my inner corner and just pop in that right there. This is gonna bring a lot of light to the eyes. Step number four is the glow. So when I say glow, I don't only mean highlight, but I also mean bronze because it is gonna add like a really nice healthy glow because I feel like right now we're looking a little bit ghostly <laughs> with these dark eyes and like, just like pancake skin. So for bronzer, I'm gonna be a little bougie. I'm gonna be using the Guerlain Terracotta Bronzer in the shade 09 Intense, and this just adds such a beautiful warmth to the skin. And then once we add the shimmering glow, it's just gonna bring this look all together. You can already see how big of a difference that bronzer made. But to add a little bit of shape to my cheeks to kind of like chisel them out, I'm gonna take this Makeup Forever Artist Face Color Powder, and I'm just gonna take this on the exact same brush that I used to bronze. 
and just lightly cut the cheeks right over there to add a little bit of a shadow. The sun is just coming out to play in this video, so I'm sorry if it's making any weird shadows, but for blush, I'm gonna be going into this one. This is Balm Springs um, by The Balm. And I'm just softly applying that to the cheeks. I don't want like a ton of blush for this look because I do want the eyes to be the focus, but just to add a little bit of a rosy flush. For the all over glow, I am gonna go back into the Mead Money and Hustle Baby combo by Fenty Beauty because we all want to glow like the beautiful Rihanna, or Nine Ball in this case. Um, but I'm just going to take a little bit of that and add that to the tops of my cheekbones. I haven't used this blush, or this highlight in so long. And I forgot how beautiful it is, look at that. Also a little bit on the cheekbones, or sorry, <laughs> the temples. I like to add a little bit on the tip of the nose as well. And then a tip that I learned from my girl at Shaht is the Sephora what is this called? Perfection Mist Nude Glow. It's basically like oil in a can and it adds the most stunning, I call it like the Hollywood glow. It just adds like a beautiful sheen to the skin and I cannot go anywhere full glam without this. So I just like to spray this on the same areas that I highlighted on my cheekbones. Step number five for me is lips. Because we went bold on the eyes, I think I'm gonna go for a nude lip. So it's gonna be a classic smoky eye and nude lip. And for that, I'm gonna be going into the shade Cork by Dose of Colors. It's just a liquid lipstick. And this is long wearing as well, so it's not gonna like rub off or anything. And you're gonna look cute all night. So I'm just gonna apply this all over the lips. I'm gonna wait for this liquid lipstick to dry a little because I think I wanna add a tiny bit of a glow or sparkle onto the center of the lips. But if you guys didn't know, my birthday is on June 2nd, which is so close to the launch of this uh, movie. So the movie comes out on June 8th, but you can actually pre-order the tickets on June 4th. So I don't, I'm obviously not gonna be able to have the pre-order link down below before June 4th. So just come back if you guys wanna check out the tickets. I think we're about dry now, but yeah, just remember June 8th is when it comes out. So, oh, by the way, this is the Pixie and Chloe Morello collab. This is like the lip icing, I believe. It's called Cake. <laughs> and um, I'm just gonna put this into the center of the lips and it's kind of just gonna give a beautiful pouty effect to the lips and add a little bit of shine. The sixth, sixth, sixth. <laughs> I just had a weird lisp there. The sixth step is to set it and forget it. So you wanna have a really great setting spray. My go-to for years has been the Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray. I just have like a little baby version of this right now. I'm just gonna set it and forget it. That's pretty much it for the makeup look, but since there are eight steps to this routine, we're missing two, so the seventh is a scent. So I like to just wear a scent that makes me feel confident and right now that is the Guerlain uh, Mon Guerlain perfume. It's the newest one. It smells so amazing and I feel like this is like the perfect evening or like red carpet type of scent. And then the final step is a smile. Make sure that you guys are having fun at whatever event you're having um, and just smile. The smile is the best accessory to makeup and the best accessory to life in general. So. Just make sure you have that golden smile. All right guys, so that completes my gala inspired makeup tutorial, red carpet, special event, whatever you wanna call it. Thanks so much to Ocean's 8 for teaming up with me in this video and making this makeup tutorial possible. I never really go for these dramatic types of looks, but I'm kind of mad right now that I don't have a place to go to and show this off. <laughs> but although I will not be stealing from the Met Gala, be sure to check out the Ocean's 8 trailer down below. I will have a link to it if you haven't seen it yet. And of course, ticket sales go out on June 4th, so I'll have a link to that when it is June 4th. And just remember the movie comes out on June 8th, so I hope you guys see it in theaters. I definitely will, so we can chat about how much we loved it and how beautiful Rihanna and Sandra Bullock and everyone else looked in the movie. But anyways, thank you so much for watching this video. If you guys do try this makeup tutorial out, definitely be sure to tag me on social media or just let me know in the comments if you go and try it because I want to know. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I'd really appreciate it if you join the fam by clicking that red subscribe button down below below, giving this video a like for me stepping outside of my comfort, do comfort zone and doing something other than a classic red lip and wing liner because your girl slayed it. I don't know. Let me know. But thanks for watching, guys. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!